Hi, this is Danny from the Whiteboard blog. This is a short video just to go through some of the new features of Smart Notebook 15. There's a couple of new things that are worth taking a look at, so um, I'll just spend a short bit of time going through them. One of the first things you can do with shapes is now you're able to divide them up into, into sections, into chunks. So as an example, here's a square. If I right click on that square or go to the, the options in the corner there, I can now divide the shape. If I click on divide shape and then choose how many sections I want that shape divided into, just say OK. It'll then split that shape into four chunks. This is quite good for maths if you want to just have a look at sort of fractions and dividing things up. Um, if I give myself another page, one of the other features you can now do with some of these shapes, again, I'll just draw myself a square and fill that in. If I right click on that, I can now um, show and hide interior angles, I can show and hide side lengths, and I can show and hide the vertices as well. So I'll start with that one. That splits us up so I can now see the, um, the corners. I can now grab that and resize and move around and play around with the shape. I can also then show the angles and show the side lengths. And while I'm moving this shape, around and changing the size of the shape you can see the angles in the corners changing and you can see the lengths changing on the side there um, what's also new is the ability to insert um, irregular shapes as well now there's no button for this that i can find um, hopefully somebody can correct me if i'm wrong i can't convert i can't um, edit the um, the toolbar to show this but if i go up into tools um, regular polygons as before there's my regular polygons you normally add up and add on to the page below that there is irregular polygons and i can do um, just uh, ones without a fill ones that are filled and dotty ones so i'm going to choose the middle one there and you just click and click and click 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 and then close it up and it'll fill your shape in for you and like any other regular shape then you can select the shape go to the colors change the inside color change the outside color and um, after the event you can also change it by showing the vertices edit it play around with it like we did just now with the with the other shape so shapes that you've added now you can have any number of shapes that are um, custom made which is kind of cool um, a couple of other features which are new to um, this version of Smart Notebook. There is now um, a slightly upgraded Lesson Activity Builder. So I'm going to click on this button at the top here, and the the Lab, L-A-B, Lesson Activity Builder screen pops up. And there's only two um, activities for the moment. I'm hoping there'll be some more in the future, but I'm going to just choose Super Sorts. And what you basically get is a wizard now that takes you through these activities. So I'm going to click on Add this activity. Um, you've got a choice between jungling or sorting space. Let's go with sorting space. Let's add this activity to the page. And then we can customize the category. So I'll do a really simple one. I'm just going to have animals and plants. In this box, I'm going to add um, a cat and a dog and a hamster and on this side we shall have a daisy and um, a daffodil and some holly okay, let's go for that and i hit enter and i can get my, my boxes there when i'm finished i can do next uh, i can add timers and buzzers and dice and so on if i wish i'm going to ignore that for a minute and just hit finish and it'll chant for a minute and onto the page it will put an interactive fun activity where you can now drag the resources to the spaceships and this one these are aliens if it's wrong it spits it back and if it's correct they go inside the spaceship and so it's an interesting way of, of doing what you could just only do with some text and some boxes on the screen but it makes it a bit more fun a bit more interactive um, which is kind of nice so that's the lab so hopefully there'll be some some more of that to, to come in the future and then I'll just do one other thing. Um, on the top toolbar now, where you have this, this jigsaw piece, click on the jigsaw and you'll see um, a concept map feature. If I click on start a new concept map, what it'll put on the screen is just say box, double click to edit. So if I click inside there, uh, I can just put any text I want in there. If I double click on the plus, it'll add me a new box, which I can then move around. So if you are looking at doing simple uh, mind maps, concept maps, um, and don't want to just draw it with lines and arrows, uh, then you can do it like this. The beauty of having this one, I would guess, is the fact that everything's linked. So if I want to start moving things around, they stay linked rather than having to redraw the line or remove the line. But the, the concept maps is new. In terms of other features for um, Smart Notebook 15, there's not a lot new if you've already got 
notebook 14 from what I can see. Um, you've got things like the equation editor and the align tools which are up here. Um, the gallery lesson activity toolkit is, is all as before. Um, I can't see a huge amount extra that's new. Again, if you have 14, then you'll be using things like the regular activity builder and the lesson recorder um, and smart blocks, which, which came in recently. And also, don't forget, you can install um, Notebook Maestro, which will let it then let your um, smart board and your iPad talk to each other. And there's a video on my blog from a, a few months back which covers Notebook Maestro. So if you're interested in that, um, click on the video and, and take a look at that. That's all I can see that's, that's the new stuff. Notebook 15, obviously, if you have Notebook 14, this is a free upgrade. You just need to download it and your, your um, Smart Advantage license will work as normal. If you have older versions of Smart Notebook, then you will need to speak to your, sell, your resellers to find out about the, the Notebook Advantage license and, and how you can get the, the newer versions. 11.4 is still free. Um, don't need a code for that now, and you can still get 11.4 to download if you, if you have existing Smart Boards and, and wish to use those. Um, as before, any questions have you got for me, you can find me on Twitter as Danny Nick, and um, you can get me through the blog. Um, leave a comment on this post, either on YouTube, and um, it'll be in the blog post as well. Um, have a good play with Notebook 15. Any questions, please shout, and um, I'll help where I can. Thanks very much. Thank you for listening.